guys. Okay, guys, I just wanted to do a uh, introductory introductory video to uh, to the channel itself, which I mean, I really don't have much of a channel, but just kind of what I'm doing. Uh, I kind of want to let people follow along some of the weirder builds I do. It's going to be stuff you don't normally see very often, if at all. Um, so, like I said, I just kind of wanted to touch base and let everybody kind of know what to expect overall without cluttering up one of my videos about my truck or, or whatever I do. So currently the main focus is I have an 82 F100 that I'm building as kind of a weird, cool daily driver. I was born in 1982, so I wanted an F100 from that group or from that year uh, to build. And I've got long-term plans, short-term plans. Uh, short-term plans is it's gonna get lowered. Um, it'll probably end up being four-wheel disc brakes soon. Um, might be IRS soon. It's getting a 4.2 with a pretty bumpy cam. I have a Thunderbird Super Coupe 3.8 set up for it that's going in it. I've already swapped it to an M5OD out of a 97 F150. So uh, five-speed overdrive manual. Um, it's going to be getting uh, basically the Rust Oleum $50 paint job. Uh, probably cost a little more than that today, but we'll go. We'll, we'll actually go over that. And I will probably do a running tally on uh, what it cost me. Just to kind of revamp that for today. You know, it, it's been years since it's really been covered well. So we'll go over that. But um, other things to expect. I'm currently looking for a 1314 V6 uh, Mustang to build as a... Actually, I won't even build it at first. It'll just be a Mustang with uh, probably exhaust and wheels a few little cosmetic mods. Uh, ultimately, I would like to put a 3.5 EcoBoost in it. Um, and we'll cover that more later uh, in the next couple of years if things work out. I plan on building a Factory 5 Roadster. Um, that's kind of a dream car. I'm pushing 40, so I need to get around to getting it done. Um, there's gonna be some Crown Vic suspension swap on the truck. Uh, I do have an 04 Celine Focus that was actually built on my daughter's birthday or at least was in the process at the time. She was born on September 24th of 04, and this car shipped out of Celine's facility on September 29th of 04. Um, so considering it's one of 88 cars Celine built that year, uh, it's an original nitrous car, you know, of course it's a numbered car. Uh, it's pretty cool to have one built even just that close to her actual birthday, and it's gonna be her first car. Um, also have a 1990 Celica Alltrack, kind of weird. I, I do import or like some imports a little bit. Uh, so it's probably going to get built up. We'll see how it goes. I have a couple ideas in mind. It just depends on how much budget I want to put into it. Um, so there's that. I also have some friends with some cool cars, uh, a couple of Gen 4 swapped MR2s that might get a little bit of play on here. I've got some other friends. You know, I've got... Uh, I actually have a friend that we're building his 88 coupe that he, it's passed through a few hands, but ultimately he was the original owner and ordered it brand new. And we are currently five speed or new 5.0 swapping it. It's getting a 15 Coyote sealed crate motor and racing Coyote stock. Hopefully if we can get it together uh, pretty quick, I'm gonna try to do maybe some some time lapse of working on it and uh, I'll, I'll kind of talk or edit over okay guys my wife pulled up i had a radio real loud so i paused it for a minute you can see her going in the house right back there uh, anyway so uh, yeah we're working on the coyote stock car uh, he's got some nmra history hopefully uh, he can go out and have some fun um and I'll get to go along with him. We'll see if, I don't know how much of that I'll document because it's not really my stuff. Um, I'm helping him on the car, but uh, it's really his story and I might cover some of it. I'll talk to him about it, um, see what he wants to do. But either way, um, I do plan on, if the races fall on my weekends off, I do plan on going with him a little bit and uh, help him out if, if anything on the car goes wrong, uh, help him get it back together. So, um, That's really all I have lined up at the moment. There's no telling what project I come up with, though. 
Um, I do have a CBR 929 that it's really not worth putting back together. So it might be, uh, you know, a go-kart power plant at this point. You know, who knows? Um, I've been looking at maybe getting a cheap side-by-side -side or something to put it in there. Get a little sketchy. Um, other than that, you know, you'll get to see some technical stuff. Um, and again, I, uh, I do tend to ramble a little bit and I get distracted easily. Um, but anyway, guys, if you want to follow along, um, you know, I'm, I think it's cool when other people are interested in what I build and, you know, this isn't something I don't have any subscribers at this point. I don't think, um, you know, I don't make money at this. I don't plan on making money at this. Um, I, I doubt I'll ever see a hundred subscribers, much less the thousand that it's a minimum requirement. I don't, I don't go out on all the social medias and post this stuff. I pretty much have some Facebook pages I post to, and then I'll put videos on YouTube just cause that's an easy way to link videos. Um, and it lets people subscribe and follow along a little better. So, uh, if you want to do that, you know, click subscribe, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll read comments. I pretty much am set in my ways. Uh, so, when you're going to tell me, like, for instance, my truck, you tell me that, oh, I'd put in a 351 Windsor would be cheaper and easier and make more power. It would. Um, and there's the, every chance that when I get bored with this V6, I might put a Windsor in it. Uh, I have an, have an idea, and I know what I want to do long term with this project. So this truck, when I get everything sorted, I might would actually sell off the V6 wholesale and put a Windsor in here and set it up for how I want to put it in a factory five and sort it all out in my truck. And then when the factory five is ready, throw it in the factory five and then I'll do my mod motor swap in the truck. You know, who knows? Um, if that's the case, uh, this truck will probably see a 351 Windsor with stack fuel injection on it uh, and a big bumpy cam. I may even try to do a Cleavor. I'm a big fan of the 351 Cleveland. Uh, the parts are kind of hard to find, but you can get aftermarket heads now. so. Who knows what I'll do? We'll see. Um, but anyway, thanks for thanks for watching if you watch this far. And like I said, if you feel like subscribing, I appreciate it. And uh, you can watch me build some weird stuff. Thanks.